Um, because I don't think we've ever talked about this. Um, and, and it's kind of a two part question. I, I hope, I hope it makes sense, but obviously I know you're an athlete and you're a competitor. So I'd like if, if you don't mind kind of expanding upon like sort of what led you to that and competing. But the second part of the question is, which I feel like really makes you unique is that you're a vegan. Um, so I know this is two really loaded questions, right? But if you can, if you can also expand on maybe why you chose to be a vegan and, and ultimately how these things intertwine, because I'm, I'm just fascinated by, um, the lifestyle that you've chosen, the commitment it takes. And then someone who, who like me, who's a carnivore, you know, the fear of even trying it is like, oh my gosh, how would this impact me athletically? So selfishly, I just, I want to, you know, again, hear your, in, your, hear your perspective on all of this. Yeah, yeah. So um, first part of the question, uh, like, how did I guess, how did I become an athlete? Well, like, um, when I was, I was actually just talking about this last night, funny enough, uh, but I started with Taekwondo uh, when I was pretty young, and I was like a fat kid. And I just, mm, you know, I never heart- would have guessed that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. so, so I, uh, I always like martial arts a lot, like Bruce Lee movies. And I always like, like Bruce Lee's philosophy a lot. Um, yeah. But I was also kind of like a troubled kid too, so I was also uh, very punk rock and kind of getting into some 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 rough stuff. And uh, I ended up uh, doing taekwondo for a couple of years, and then quit, and then was like playing in in, uh, in uh, rock and roll punk bands. And then um, I ended up uh, just kind of getting into like weightlifting as a kid. You know, like I just wanted to get fit and stuff, and mm-hmm. you know, got unfat and all that. And so that. Uh, I did rugby for like a couple months, but like rugby was cool. And uh, I don't really know anything about rugby, but like, I don't know, I was like, okay at it, um, but it wasn't really my thing. And I always like loved MMA. Like I would get the UFC mm-hmm. tapes when I was really little, kind of a classic story, you go to uh, the video store and get the VHS. Sure. And my dad would rent them for me and all that. So I was always like aware of it. And then my buddy Jason was kind of like showing me the more modern UFCs at the time. So it was like early 2000s and he was okay. a few years older than me. So then, Eventually, I just went to a local gym and kind of, uh, it was actually like some UFC veterans there and stuff. And it was kind of a rough and tumble gym. I didn't really know what I was doing. Mm. Um, took a fight way too soon and lost. And then I ended up um, with some some guys who kind of took me under their wing who were a lot cooler. So uh, Nick Aguilar, who's a UFC veteran, is yeah. like the man, and his brother Hank. And then Gerald Mearshart, who's actively in the UFC, was my old roommate and coach. Mm-hmm. And they... Uh, kind of got me up to snuff and it really built up, especially my, I would say like my MMA wrestling was always my, my um, probably, probably one of my finer points. I was good at getting guys mm-hmm. down and just kind of pounding on them and mm-hmm. pretty, pretty good jujitsu for not being a jujitsu guy and mm-hmm. uh, decent stand up. So then, um, yeah, so I was doing my thing for a little bit um, and had some, some decent wins and, and that, and then um, uh, to, to kind of segue into veganism, uh, mm-hmm. You know, I had some friends, like my old uh, good friend, roommate Trevor, who was vegetarian, some other people in my life. But I was always, to your point, a little hesitant, like, well, I'm an athlete, stuff like that. But I started seeing guys like Mac Danzig, uh, who's fully mm-hmm. vegan. Dia's brothers kind of flirted with it. J- Jake Shields, vegetarian. And she got to train with him last year in Manhattan. That guy is an Oh, uh, really, man? I love him. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a beast. Yeah. Star. So that, that they definitely influenced me. And then um, before a fight in 2011, I decided to to give up meat. And I was like still vegetarian, but like just kind of figuring it out. And I, my weight cut just like went a lot easier. And um, I just liked it. And then kind of became aware of like some of the more like ethical um, mm-hmm. implications of veganism. Mm-hmm. So the environment was a big one for me. And this animal welfare. Uh, I think when you really start understanding um, what goes on like in slaughterhouses and and, mm. and you know, i've been vegan for almost 10 years and this last year i just started doing activism and I, i've been like visiting slaughterhouses and documenting oh. the conditions and it's it's really brutal and even taking that next step for me has like kind of really ingrained in me like why i do this mm-hmm. and um it's definitely nothing where most of my friends eat meat and i'm like the least preachy as you know but yeah just on a personal level and in terms of like uh raising awareness it's something that really matters to me um, and as far as how that's impacted me athletically, yeah, I mean, I think it's a really great lifestyle. I, um, I mean, I was a tough kid before I went vegan and, um, I was like, you know, fit and muscular and stuff. I don't feel like I lost a beat. And over the years, I've definitely just gotten smarter in general. So I think it's a combination of the diet, but also like just understanding like 
more is not always more. So like mm -hmm. you, like I still train a lot. Like I lifted yesterday earlier in the day and did some jujitsu at night, but you just, you understand how to like taper things off at the right time. And each of these sessions, you understand like, you know, how, how hypertrophy works. If you're trying to build mm -hmm. muscle, if you're mm -hmm. trying to get leaner, um, you understand how to balance your nutrients, when to eat and when not to eat and mm -hmm. all that stuff. So, you know, to be honest, it's a combination of that, but you can definitely hit all that and, and then some on a vegan diet. And I think the other advantage is like no cholesterol. Um, you just save a lot of BS. I mean, there's certainly a lot of good vegan junk food out there now, but mm. you know, if you're at work and someone's eating donut holes, you, just, you can't eat them. So you're not going to eat that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's taking out a lot of that um, inflammatory uh, properties mm -hmm. of animal products, I think is, is really good for an athlete. So.